In the last decade, in the solar market, the cost of technology has come down by more than 75%. At that time, the number of deployments of solar has gone up 40 times. So cost declines have really led to dramatic use of solar globally and here in the United States. Over the past 10 years, we've seen incredible changes in the industry. Solar went from being an industry about cells to then panels to systems and now to entire energy uh, experiences. We've seen these dramatic reductions in the cost of hardware panels alone, 80 to 90 percent reductions over the past five years. Now we're seeing that same kind of innovation and cost reductions in inverters and in software solutions to spread solar adoption. It is actually thrilling to see that solar is now cheaper than utility energy and when you look at the work uh, that we are doing and others uh, on the other parts of the system, Solar is doing nothing but getting less expensive, while utility energy, dirty energy, is becoming more expensive. Eight years ago, when I sold the first residential financing to a consumer personally in Redwood City, not far from here, uh, there really was no capital to help people go solar. And the availability of that capital has expanded dramatically and is now widely available in public equity and public debt. And that really gives us the financing to keep building not only the U.S. solar industry, but global solar industry. When we first started, we were trying to prove out that solar was a viable distributed energy source uh, in terms of performance, in terms of cost, in terms of reliability, etc. I think we've gotten to that point. You're seeing solar now competing effectively with fossil fuel. If you look at the solar industry globally, it's massively gone from a niche to starting to become a mainstream industry. That change has been driven by, in a lot of ways, innovation and technology and availability of financing. The solar industry has developed and changed tremendously since um, the early days of Grid Alternatives and the early days of Enphase. I mean, there's been creative financing, the, the drastic reduction in panel price, and you know, adoption of many different technologies, including the microinverter. And all of these things have made solar all that more accessible and have allowed a wide variety of skill sets of people to come into the field. So much of the benefit of the solar industry is the culture that we've created and it's a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. We said, hey look, here's a problem that needs to be solved. Uh, you know, let's apply technology to solve that problem. Bring all the possible innovations, everything that we have learned, things that we, we haven't learned even, uh, let's bring all that in and see if we can crack the code on this one particular problem. That was 10 years ago. Since then, obviously, a lot has changed. We have innovated a lot. We have put a lot of technology into what we, are, what we are doing. For an organization that cares very deeply about that first job and that next job and providing advancement for people, um, I think the advances in technology have really made it so a lot of people can get that hands-on experience and get those jobs. You know, what I've learned over the last 10 years, if you get the right group of people together, really smart, people who like each other, who want to work together, um, you can probably solve any problem out there. And I think we have done a lot of that in the last 10 years.